Taiwan's offshore islands of Jinmen and Mazu have long been troubled by marine debris from China, and dealing with the trash is costing both counties a fortune. Instead of sending the waste on a long boat ride to Taiwan to be incinerated, both counties are now thinking about shipping the waste to China, which means 80% in savings and drastically cuts down on shipping time. Here's more. I'm at the landfill in Jinmen. Behind me is polystyrene the size of a hill. The local Environment Protection Bureau says this was collected in mere two weeks. Discarded polystyrene buoys from Chinese fisheries are carried to Jinmen by the currents. The large polystyrene buoys are shrunk down by a thermal densifier so they can be easily transported. However, Percy's polystyrene cannot be reused again due to contamination and thus had to be sent to incinerators in Taiwan. Every day, large amounts of marine debris washes ashore in Jinmen. The processed waste is not fit to be buried, not to mention our landfill is already full. Marine debris and regular waste are first compressed into cubes. Every cube weighs about a ton, and we produce about 26 to 28 cubes a day. And every day, nearly 30 tons of waste are shipped off to the Gangshan incinerator in Kaohsiung. A shipment from Jinmen to Kaohsiung takes eight hours. The shipment cost per ton is about 90 US dollars. And the city of Kaohsiung charges us a processing fee of 33 US dollars per ton. Thus, to deal with one ton of waste will cost us about 123 US dollars. However, the Kaohsiung government is planning on increasing the processing fee, which means Jinmen County will have to spend about 4,500 US dollars per day to deal with its trash. A boat from Jinmen can arrive in China's Xiamen in about 30 minutes. Compared to the eight-hour trip to Kaohsiung, we can greatly save on shipping costs and processing fees. Having the trash incinerated in Xiamen means 80% in savings, which lightens the financial burden of the county. Residents of the Matu Islands also wish to return their marine debris back to its owner. Every year, the archipelago produces 1,700 tons of garbage and receives 800 tons in marine debris. We don't collect any tax for processing marine debris, so it is a heavy burden on our finances. The wooden bamboo items from the sea can quickly pile up in a month. Thus, the local waste management grinds them down and mixes the pulp with household kitchen waste to make organic compost that is free to local residents. However, as most of the debris is inorganic, it must be sent back to Taiwan to be incinerated. By having the trash incinerated in Taiwan is very costly. We estimate it costs us about nearly one million US dollars per year. As the source of the marine debris lies in China, governments on both sides are intent on resolving the problem, but nothing formal has been drafted. We have been inviting college students from China to come visit and help us pick up the marine debris so they know about the problem. When they go back, they can help spread the word. Ultimately, the true solution lies in waste reduction. A study shows that if humans can reduce their use of plastic goods by half, then the volume of marine debris will also be reduced by half.